News coverage on Long Island, it ignores the real deals on, on what news should be covering on Long Island. News 12 South Shore, only catering to a certain demographic. As Pine Power has explained numerous times and recently, Andrews Rand has talked about another station doing the same thing, catering to another, c catering to an, only a certain demographic just because. Hmm? Just because. They make six figures, like $200,000 a year, and they're associated with the finance district. Hmm? The real news that, sorry, I can't get to it, but is all the crime that's going on and how we need to find some other way besides, besides like prison and discipline. We need to find some other way to solve problems because we can't have discipline in our system, but we can't have crime either. Mm -hmm. News 12 is just ignoring... News 12 South Shore, they're ignoring all the real information, all the real news on Long Island, and f for the stuff they are not ignoring, they're only giving it, like, less than 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. News 12 South Shore. I mean... I mean, they're, they're always covering the South Shore just because it gets the most attention, it gets a certain demographic mm -hmm. lives there. And I looked this up, it's like 97% white down there. Mm. So News 12. Man, what is wrong with News 12 on Long Island? News 12 Westchester up here doesn't do this sort of stuff. Mm. So why do they do it on Long Island? Anyway, later I'm going to be cover Later I'm going to be making a video about the upcoming year. And hopefully during 2021... News 12 can get their act together and and care about everyone and not just the South Shore. I mean, places on, on Long Island are going to be redlined on both the middle of the island and on the North Shore now. It used to be just the middle of the island, but now it's the North Shore too. Places. It used to be just like Westbury, Hemskid, and that was it. Then Mineola, Hicksville which is why we call it Skidsville now, have joined. Now, Jamaica, it's going to be like Jamaica 2.0. Jamaica was originally like that. It's now expanding into one big Jamaica. Mm -hmm. One big Jamaica. Going out from where Queens Village is also a lot, a lot like Hempstead or Jamaica. It's only because it's like over 50% black. Mm -hmm. So they get that type of treatment. How awful is that? Mm -hmm. So, later on, Queens Village is going to expand into Floral Park with these problems, then to New Hyde Park. I mean, you saw what happened to Pine Power and that homeless person in North New Hyde Park last summer. Mm hmm? New Hyde Park is turning into, like, that sort of place, like a Jamaica. Hmm? And it's going up northward as well. Hmm? Then the Ronkonkoma branch is going to join the problems. But this third third track project is... This third track project is going to mess up everything because they can't just provide... Damn shuttle buses! Why can't they provide shuttle buses on the main line during these outages? It's going to continue and continue and continue. This is... This is where I'm going to start thinking about transportation through travel and how I could help this mess. So... And, and, and people on the... And, People on the South Shore, you're not going to shine forever because Mother Nature is going to happen there. You're going to get wiped out by the next hurricane, by sea level rise. Your Belmore Station with the fish pictures is going to resemble what it really is when it gets underwater by sea level rise. The fishes will really match. 
This is what's going to happen to you in the future because of of how the climate change is going to happen. Why can't you just like ex let the middle of the island be just as desirable as your place on Long Island? And I've it's just becoming Jamaica 2.0. <laughs> So, that's it for today. Bye. And one more thing.